What's up, members of the Barrio? It's John coming to you from City Island in the Bronx. And today, we've got another edition of my neighborhood guides to New York City. And this area isn't well known even by many residents of New York City. It's a 1.5 mile stretch of land, an island connected to the Bronx proper, and it feels more like a New England seaside village. I've got an amazing guest today who was born and raised here. He's gonna be taking us around, showing us what it's like to be a local. It's gonna be a really good time. Guys, we've got Michael Prietti. He is a local chef, born and raised here. Michael, what are we gonna do today? What's up, you guys? So we're gonna check out the neighborhood. We're gonna check out some of the local seafood places, check out a toy store, see some beautiful homes, and really see what being a local on City Island is all about. You live here, what do you think it means to be a city islander? You know, it's just, it's kind of like living in a vacation destination. It's beautiful, we have this beautiful surrounding, everybody knows each other, it's really a great community. Interesting, and it's small, it's just a mile and a half, right? Mile and a half long, everybody knows each other. I know pretty much everybody on my block by name, you know? It's kind of cool. <laughs> Which is rare, Manhattan, you can't say that. I you don't know, I that. know like one person on my block. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot different here. You can't throw a rock without getting in trouble. So we're gonna get on a boat, right? I work at a local yacht club. A lot of people belong to the yacht clubs out here. We're gonna hop on a boat. I'll show you some of the areas from the water. Great place to see it. We're walking down uh, for this boat ride. I'm not gonna lie, I was super excited to come and film this video because I think City Island is so different than almost any other spot in New York City. We are going to explore from the beautiful water here. Thank you for having us. I gotta say, this is so much more peaceful than riding on the Hudson River. Totally. Oh, look at this, you would not think you were in the Bronx. This is like the Hamptons or Montauky. Wanna okay. drive? Yeah, hey, why not? Just don't crash. Okay. So guys, I, I actually don't have a license for this. Uh, you can barely drive a car. If somebody wanted to take a boat ride like this, could they do it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, you could rent a boat. Jack's Bait and Tackle over here. It's a great little mom and pop shop. They have boat rentals. Um, I think there's a couple places you could probably get kayaks from too. You kind of got to ask around, do a little research, but you can find some stuff. Or meet a local. Go hang out with a local and take you out on their boat. Yeah, so weekdays are pretty quiet out here. Weekends, the traffic gets a little crazy, but you know what? It's the price you pay to live in paradise. That's what I say. So Michael, I've had a chance now to actually look around City Island a little bit walking. Yep. This does not feel like New York City at all. This feels more like a little New England village. Totally, totally. And we got some great shops out here. This guy John back here has a great antique shop. He sells these really weird kind of things that he finds. You have a great coffee shop. Mary Colby is an amazing artist out here. She has a beautiful shop. You can learn to oil paint with her. She's amazing. And then we have this really great, another little great art shop. So there's some great stuff out here. Really, we got some great culture. So I have not covered too many cemeteries on this channel. Never covered one in New York City, but you insisted we come to Pelham Cemetery. What is special about this place? Well, it's right on the water, right? If you're gonna die, this is the place you wanna spend the rest of your death, right? All right, guys, let's, let's get inside the cemetery. I never thought I would say that, let's get in there. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, my father's buried here, so the blank spot next to it, you, you know where I'm going one day. You're going, you're going there. Going there. Another 100 years. Oh yeah, let's hope. This is a hard island, so this is uh, New York City's Potter's Field, right? And it, right now it's ran by the Department of Corrections and they're trying to transfer it over to Department of Parks. A lot of people are against it because they don't really want people going there. This is a Potter's Field, it's sacred space. So right, right now, nobody can access that island. Well, you can if you have somebody buried there. So if you have somebody buried there, you can go on the Department of Corrections website and apply to go over to that island. So just to see it. So the nice thing about City Island is you could have a backyard, right? You could walk to a beach if you live here. It really is, it's sub, It's the suburb. It's suburban living in the city. As we go to a gas station.
And we have some beautiful houses, and this is one of the most beautiful houses on City Island. There's been some uh, films filmed here, like Royal Tenenbaum, some other things I can't think of at the moment, but it's really just a beautiful house with a beautiful view. So if you're looking for some good real estate, City Island's a place to find it. So Michael's friend actually owns this house, so she's kind enough, thank you if she's watching this, to allow us to film in her backyard, where they did film the Royal Tannenbaums. I saw that movie a long time ago. I think it was good. If you walk to the end of some of these blocks, you could take a look, you know what I mean? You could look over onto the beaches. A lot of the beaches are private, but you could still take a look. I have to say, out of all the places I have ever been to in New York City, I have never got such a calming, relaxed vibe until I went to City Island. As Michael said, I actually feel like I'm on vacation right now. I, I wanna go to one of these houses and just spend the night. I don't wanna go back to Manhattan, honestly. A lot of the houses out here start as little summer um, bungalows. So then they change them into full-time living. So you'll see some of the houses on the back streets are a little bit smaller than you would expect. Guys, by the way, we have been driving all over City Island because Michael has a car, but you do not need a car to come here. I'm gonna put exact directions in the description. It's not too difficult. You take public transportation here, subway to a bus, and just walk the whole strip. Only a mile and a half. We are just very lazy today. All right, Michael, we are in front of a toy store and you insisted that we stop here because it was so different what's up with this place well it's 239 play right it's owned by dan and rena and this is just they have all vintage toys really cool stuff and this is a pretty old building it's been here forever and they just really has repurposed this building and made it an awesome toy so you have to check it out guys we got to see this Let's go. but i think the coolest thing is definitely this crab club when you come to city island you kind of need this crab club how are you? Hey, how's it going? Good, I'm John. Nick, nice, nice to meet you, man. Generally vintage stuff, uh, and the building itself is 150 years old, or give or take around there. Um, so it was almost perfect that we're selling old stuff in an old building. Winter trip to spring training, 1988. No purchase necessary. We're about 30 years too late for this one. Michael Jackson's Thriller. This is so dope. I think there's a record room. And we've got old uh, old backstage passes, which I think is probably one of my favorite items. Cinderella. I didn't even know mystery bags were a thing, but we've just bought a mystery bag for $5. I'm expecting at least $10 worth of value here. What do we got? <laughs> we have... We have an old Minnesota Vikings 1987 bent baseball card. We have... Oh, no. I like it though. This makes it all worth it. A, a little a pink poodle for Adriana. Oh my goodness. Stop in here. I, I don't think it's possible to come here and not want to buy something. Be it a mystery bag or a Ronald Reagan pin from 76 or Thriller. You'll buy something. Come to this store. So Michael, I knew that coming to City Island, this would not be a video without getting some of the famous seafood from here. We're at Tony's Pier Restaurant. Yeah. Uh, what made you take us to this spot? Well, you know, these restaurants at the end of the island, they're, they're famous, they've been here forever. You want some good fried food? This is the place to get it. Let's, let's do it, I'm, I'm starving right cool. now, let's do this. We can already smell the seafood the second you walk through those doors, that salty goodness. So if you are born here, you're a clam digger. If you move here, you're a muscle sucker. So I'm a clam digger. And what does that make me? That makes you just some schmo that's visiting. Fried shrimp, cornmeal crust. Excellent. Probably some of the best fried shrimp I've ever had, actually. Don't order it often enough. Mm. So you come to City Island, you gotta have some fried seafood, fried scallops. These scallops are moist, crispy, delicious. Uh, they're just, they're awesome. This is where it's at. What would you tell people if they're not sure about visiting City Island? 
Well, you know, it's the best day trip. You go over to Orchard Beach, get some beach in, come over here, have some lunch, do some shopping, go to the toy store, say hello to some locals, get a beer. Perfect place to be on a summer's day. Awesome, Michael. Thank you so much you. for joining us today. So good to see you. Awesome guest. See you guys. As Michael said, come here for the day, eat some seafood, go out in a boat, stroll around. You're going to feel like you're in a seaside village. Such a great spot. And this is in New York City, top of the Bronx. Guys, make sure to leave me a comment down below. If you liked the video, check out my other New York City content, of course. And thank you so much for watching, as always. Until next time.